So definitely there are times when you are inundated with projects. So you are already running on full steam with two projects and a third one comes and it seems like it's very hard to refuse. What I always did was I always had a bunch of freelancers in my network. And these were freelancers whose work was so impeccable that I would have had probably to do just a couple of rounds of review and send it across to my client. But these freelancers were the best in industry. Why would they work for me? Why wouldn't they go for a company? And there are certain freelancers who used to say, I would rather work for you than I would go join a company, though I know that whatever I'm doing for you is never going to go on my resume because it's an outsource work. It's because I treated them very well. I didn't nitpick. I, I gave very clear instructions. I never had multiple rounds of review. So it would be one email with clear instructions of the work done maximum one round of review otherwise i used to give it my own touch uh, or, and my own polish in the end second thing was i paid them well it was uh, i either paid them whatever they asked for or i did an 80 20 ratio division 80 percent went to them 20 percent went to me complete transparency sharing with them the contract so that they knew what they what they were in for but the most important thing is i paid them within a week of their work out of my own pocket so i didn't wait for the company to pay me as i've seen many people do that that okay we'll pay you and we get paid i thought these guys have done their work why should they wait for me to get my fee from the company so clear instructions minimum rounds of review therefore respecting their work and paying them high and paying them quickly this is how I found that the best freelancers in the industry stayed with me. And to date, I know that if I need anything, if I need help, if I need to get some work or if I need to simply reach out to them for a suggestion, they'll be there for me because they know that I will respect them and not rip them apart. Thank you. If you have any questions about freelancers, how to get them, how to keep them most importantly how to hold on to them do write a question and i'll try my best to answer from my own experience